Now, I'm not 100% sure on what this one was. Spinning on a log. Okay, I remember this one now. Yep. Okay, cool. Go ahead and get through this. Now, this one might confuse you when you're here. But... I'll show you what I mean by that in just a bit once we get to a section that has that. Should have used the boxes. I need the space. One, two, three. Let's go. Tried to land on it. I landed on the tail, really? See, I'm already failing at this level, man. I've got seven love, uh, seven lives for those of you wondering. Lives stack up for days. And if you're wondering how I'm jumping so high, if you hold B, you're not supposed to know this at this level, but if you hold B, <clears throat> you can actually cheat it, and it actually gets you a little bit higher. It's not really a cheat, it's just it's a, an actual tactic later on. You're gonna have to know it. That's what's going on. All right, now let's wait for a little bit more. Go. Are the monkeys in this one? I hate this, but I went for it because you need the cocoa. You can actually die from that. Okay, here's the monkey. You gotta wait for the monkey and then hop, skiddly doo bop. So now I gotta wait for that guy. Oh my gosh. Kidding me. I had to, right? I was like, do I even bother? Get the light. Wondering how I did that. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. So, these little platforms here, you spin, jump up and spin. It actually puts them into an, a way that you can actually jump on it. However, they do get removed eventually. Wow. Le knowing, okay, my bad. Knowing to hold B and jump on these is actually such a cheat for this for this level. But I, I'm trying to shake. Wait. Now you guys can see the platform is back to where it was. So you have to go ahead and re-spin to do it. Uh-oh. That was nice. Thanks, game. Much appreciated. If I was actually going for a relic run here, this would be terrible. I'm struggling to jump. What's going on here? I'm like not used to how... You have to really focus on your shadow, but checkpoint, there we go. Uh-oh. Good thing I got the checkpoint. Alright, so there's a turtle on this side. I wonder, nope. I didn't go far enough. I was gonna say, I wonder if I can just land on him in the jump. I landed on his shell, why didn't that work? I couldn't be bothered, I was going straight for it. I wanted to use the turtle, wait, are you gonna move? That took forever. Oh man. Oh, I was supposed to use the turtle to get that. Uh oh. Oh, perfect. I'm, I'm being patient on that one. I know how bad those can get. There we go. Coco at two at a. Oof! Okay. So I gotta jump quick. Jump quick. Okay. Got it. Peace! Alright, slip and slide right here. I remember these. Alright, we're gonna have to jump on this. Oof. Make our way up. Dude, this game was far ahead of its time, Sven. This game was far ahead of its time for difficulties of the game. Just having fun. Being able to replay the same levels over and over and still get enjoyment out of it. Oh man, it's gonna be one of these guys. Oh! All that work and you just fail like that, boy. We got a lot of work now. Still got seven lives, so we got a long way to go. I keep trying it. I don't know why it doesn't work. I think it's because I'm not far enough. There's actually depth perception. You just can't really tell. Like, I'll do it this time. 
I think the game was telling me. Oh, that was bad by me. So you can't get hit even by being on the regular platform. Fights do come out a little bit. I forget about that. You can't jump. Oh, you're gonna jump early so you can jump quick. All right, piss off. That's not easy to do. This is actually the hard part right here. Because he moves so quick and so fast. You can mess up so easily. Oh, that was weird. Now we got fire to watch out for. I'm, I'm patient on this. I'm not going to go back. I haven't seen a checkpoint in a long time. And there's usually only one checkpoint per match. Or per round, so. Yep, there we go. Coco, bonus level. Haha, that's how you do it like a pro. You don't have to worry about the TNT. However, I think the TNT is required for the boxes, so. Let's see if that goes up to three. Yep, it was required. Oh, fuck. Oof, we got work to do, boys. I hate these type of levels when you have to rely on the box jumps. Actually, and by the way, if you die on a bonus level, don't worry. You don't lose a life. You can just keep redoing it. And it also doesn't matter if you're doing like a, uh, a gem run. And you're required to live. I'm so lucky there was a close. I got rid of a level like an idiot, but it's all good. I'm not gonna need him. <laughs> I'm, uh, this is not hard, guys. It's just so time consuming because I get so impatient. Um, uh, how am I gonna time this? So right when this one goes up, I can go. There's time. No, don't tell me. Please tell me I get the bonus. Oh, thank you. I'd kill you if I didn't. Okay, so when those go up, I should go. Got it. Now. Don't jump too early. So as you guys can see, eight total crates have been missed. And there's also an extra gem slot that I can go ahead and use. But again, requires other levels to go ahead and complete. But now we've seen that level, let's move on to the next one. They make me feel so bad. I missed eight boxes, but sometimes you can't do them because you don't have the requirement. 